This is Tully Dio and Madman Matt sitting next to me per usual. And we are the hosts of the Tully Dio Show. I thought I was always a good wingman. I wake up when uh, my eyes open. Because you know rock and roll stays up late. It's like if you're drinking the big beers, then I think there should be a certain level of cheer that you get from that. So like Walt's drinking the big beers, you should feel more cheerful. Unless you're a sad drunk and no one likes that. Yeah, no one wants that. Los Angeles, we're pumping it out to the people, you know? It's the hot stuff. This is where, this place is boiling with, with, you know what I mean? Everybody wants something new in LA. And it is time for some new rock and roll. It is so time. It's the Tully Dio Show. Tully Dio. Madman. Yes. Again. And it's episode 318. Uh, it's going to be a good one. We got a magnificent set list, a spectacular top 10, and then some things thrown in there also. Ooh, peppers. Peppers on the spices. Put it in the soup. You know what I bought? What's up, brother? I bought a, a, one of them grinders. The grinders. Yeah. Wait, for what? For pepper? For, yeah. But mm, uh -oh. it's salt and pepper both. Wait, so time you saver. Could, you could switch the side. And no, it's, it's just chunks of salt and black peppers in there. Together. Together. What? So it saves me time on the eggs. What's going on in here? I don't know. I just feel like that should have been invented about 100 years ago. Did they? So this is a new invention. It may be. I don't know. I don't often shop for the salt and pepper. I just get the one... Salt, pepper, salt, pepper. Salt, That's pepper, all I've salt, known. Pepper. That's you know all I've known. It, you know, I cook every day. You know how hard it is just to get both those fucking grinders out? I know. It's a pain in the ass. You don't have to worry about that anymore. Wow. This episode's brought to you by salt and pepper together, <laughs> just like nature intended. Hey, man, that stuff was, uh, people would die over that stuff. I, we got to come up with fucking, fucking Mad Dio's salt and pepper mix. Dude. Dude, a little rub there, buddy. Let's get some. You can put rub. it in your beer. Oh shit! Like I wonder tahine. if it would be good salt and pepper in your beer. You know what? Should we try if it? Tahine's good. We should. We'll try it after. We'll try. It. I'm seriously want to try it now. Salt I'm and pepper in the beer. Kind of nauseated by the, the notion. I gotta. I gotta imagine that that's this has been done before in a frat house somewhere in some state at some college. I would hope so. Just putting shit in your beer. I mean, that's number one thing. But how, we wouldn't have come up with the Tahine dream if it wasn't for experimentation. That's true. That's experimentation, true. innovation. Sometimes you just got to fuck shit up to make things good. Yeah, I you agree. Know? I agree. Right. Innovation. Hell of a set list. We're going to start off with post-profit smother and then breaking in a sequence with twine right now. Uh, it's 325. Happy March.
breaking in a sequence twine and post profit with smother really digging the post profit oh, digging shit. all these bands but post profit man yeah that's the vibe that's one of those bands yep you know it's gonna be on the top 10 someday just keep going post profit do not stop don't stop let's stop doing it if you have to get a day job get a day job it's only temporary yeah because yeah. you're making some really, really good fucking rock and roll. Working on a Rite Aid, paying Fine. bills. It's all right. Fine. To, to buy some guitar strings. Those Fine. fuckers are expensive. They man. are. God Fine. damn. Your Fine. bassist can't afford that shit. No. It's fucking 50 bucks. Yeah, I went to Guitar Center. Yeah? Yeah, I hadn't been there in a long time. I wanted to look at DJ gear, right? Like DJ gear. Like legit. DJ yeah, gear. man. Yeah. Like they had, honestly, I can't even fucking believe it. One turntable. Yeah, how much was it? Oh, it was pretty expensive. But then they had, but wait, one turntable for actually DJing, whereas you could probably scratch on it if you wanted to, oh, like a 1200, like which they don't make anymore. Yeah, yeah. But like they had one legit DJ turntable and then they had like two under $100 like pieces of shit. Oh, no. Like that are just for playing records. Yeah. But it must not even be a thing. DJs must not even use vinyl anymore. I don't think they do. Yeah, man. It's, there was a ton of those digital ones. They fucking suck. Oh, yeah. That's fake so scratchers. You're faking it. Faking you're not it's, really doing it. If you use one of those, you're not doing it. You're a chump. Get a real turntable. Get an old piece of vinyl from a thrift store. Mark it. And then rip, 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 rip. <laughs> Yeah, dude. Mark it. It's, it's you don't even know. Idea. If you don't know what I mean, not a real DJ. You're not a real DJ. Seriously, though. Mm -mm. Yeah. No, it's, it's a dying art. It is. It's sad. I never was even good at it, really. But I used to sell the gear and I was decent at mixing vinyl. And I mean, decent C plus student. But at least I was doing You're it. You're probably B minus. Maybe a B minus. That, 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 I used yeah. to incorporate the CD players in with it. So, so I had a, I'd beat mix two, I had two 1200s and two uh, of the Pioneer disc, the, rip, rip, the fake ones. I oh, never, yeah. I never did it though. Well, well. But I'd hit play on them. They were very, they were super fast. And you could pause on the like, wow, it was great. Anyway, the point is the turntable. Right. Get into it. Guitar Center, what's up? You know, you got one fucking turntable, dudes. I mean, I know it's Guitar Center, but still, it's they like used the, to have a huge DJ. Yeah. Thing. I remember it was crazy because I worked for a DJ company that only sold DJ gear and we used to compete with them all the time. So I know they had, they used to have 1200. We used to have to price match them. Oh, wow. So they used to have all that stuff, but not anymore. Wow. Shit in the bed, dude. Yeah. So if you're programming your DJ set list into the computer, not a real DJ. However, I'm glad you're playing music. <laughs> Good effort. Yeah. As long, as long Everybody as gets a gold music. star. Yeah. Youth Illusion, Blood on My Hands, and we've played them a million times. Love this band. The Fail Safe. Burn it to the ground. Shit. What a great track. See, burn wow. it to the ground, Guitar Center. Burn it the fuck get a fucking, down. get three fucking turntable selections. Yeah. That's all I want. I want to be able to go in there and be like, oh, there's a fucking, there's, you know, I don't even know. Rain, I think, makes a nice one. I think that's what they had. They had a Rain one, which so, is a really nice brand. Yeah. Rain mixers and stuff. That Rain, if you want to sponsor the show. Just Come on now. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I've been searching for signals Crying out for a sun life Holding on for the future Screaming out for a rescue Tell me what is the meaning Say you love for the world to hear Hold on for hope right now Hold on for hope right now I will surrender to this offer
blood on my hand It's blood on my hand It's blood on my It's blood on my
burn it to the ground, youth illusion, blood on my hands. We're up to Big Jim's wild card. It is our interview. We interviewed these guys. You'll hear it soon. The sexy wild east, great dudes, great fucking dudes, right? Mm -hmm. The song is called Space Dicks, and it's about uh, rich douchebags going to space in a dick. Check it out. Big Jim's wild card. Sexy Wild East space dicks, because they are. <laughs> Tracing places, hold on, and Magpie Sally. Now, this is another. These guys are new to the show. Magpie Sally, but you're going to dig it. It's bluesy as shit. Bluesy and rocky. Love that stuff. Love it. Everybody thinks we're just metal guys. Not that you listen to the playlist. Yeah. There's, yeah. I don't even know if there's actually any metal on this. Yeah. It's been a while, man. It's been a while since we it played is. some metal. It has. Sure. It has. We I throw them in there every once in a while. I heat it up. Yeah. I like turn Nox, up the heat. Was it Knox Sinister? Uh, oh, yeah. Those guys go straight with the heat. Yeah. They're actually playing the whiskey. They invited us, but, you know, we had the some commitments. But they're playing the whiskey again on uh, April Fool's Day, April 1st. April 1st? So check them out. These guys, you know, these guys, and they do a great, they're, they're like really theatrical. Yeah. Which I enjoy because there's nothing more boring than watching a band stand there. That's terrible. I have to drink so many more beers to really get into it, <laughs> which yeah. is cool, but it I'd helps. rather do the three, four beers and just enjoy them hopping around. Yeah, man. Take a, take a, uh, and learn uh, some skills, man. Taste a whiskey and watch a Get a little Foxy band. Shazam. Learn some skills. That's get a little, right. get a little Freddie Mercury. Come on. Learn how to work a mic. That's right. Get in there. I got a lot of, I'm kind of ranty today. It's a little, you know what? I, I, listen to Uncle Dio. Here. I'm just saying, you know, I'm a connoisseur. You need some stage presence. You is need what he's some, saying. A little charisma. Get a know? little, get out Not there. everybody. Learn Not how everybody. to, learn how to push the, you do a little fucking dream on little Aerosmith. <laughs> Kick that fucker down and yank it back up with your scarf. Right now. Look up Iggy Pop. 
Oh, boy. Uncle Iggy will teach you a lesson. Yeah. Put some knee pads on under your pants because you're going to blow your shit out if you do some Iggy popping. <laughs> he yeah. invented the fucking, uh, what do you call that when they land on their back? Oh, the a bump? Place? Yeah, pretty much a bump. He did the stage bump. Stage bump way before everyone else. Magpie Sally, blues in the basement and tracing places. Hold on. 318.
Let's finish it. We're going to do three in a row right now of pure power excellence. Actually, it's very chill. Boom, this is boom, some boom. chill shit right here. We got our buddy, the ever mellow. Man, this guy knows the cosmos. Check him out. Drew Styles, Jesus Guacamole. Oh, yeah. Check him out. Check out his page and listen to this guy. This guy's because bad. he's so out there in the best way possible. He did, just does tightrope shit. He's just a fucking, just one of those dudes who, like, I guarantee if you sat around with him, you'd be like, whoa. If you were at like a festival, right? That guy would show you some shit. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. He probably knows how to throw hatchets. I yeah, don't even know I, why. I feel. I feel like he could do it, though. Throwing fire. You could, We're just talking yeah. about breathing fire. Yeah, he could fucking flip the fire stick around. Yeah. He could do all, He could hacky sack. Hell yeah, he, he wanted to. Sack. And oh. There's nothing he can't do. And his philosophies on things are magnificent. Jack of all trades. Absolutely. Jesus guacamole, dark and light, and very positive. He's always very positive. I don't know what's going on with his life, That's but what's up. happy or sad, he's very positive, and that is... Absolutely magnificent. That's what's up. And then Paul Callen, the chesty crow, and then Conan, man of steel. And that will wrap up the set list for 325, episode 318. Day Dark and light Left and right It's alright If everything is a design Of a higher mind
Remember that listening party we went to, Tommy Gunn's listening party? Oh yeah, tons of beer. So Tommy tons was telling me this is uh, this is the best water he's ever had in his rock and roll life. Water? Yeah. What's water? What's It's actually this beverage that goes into beer, I guess. What? Yeah. It helps make beer? Yeah. Yeah. Wait, wait. Okay. What is this water? Well, this water is supposed to be, so we're going to try it. Okay. It's supposed to be the best water out there. All right. All right. I'm in. Let's do so this. So we're going to give it a try, and we have to do it I'm really excited. Tony Dio show style in shot glasses. Shot glasses. I love because that. that's when we know how to drink beverages. This is okay. If it ain't right. in a beer bottle. All right. So we're going to give this a try. Is that, am I saying it right? Water. Yeah, yeah. It's basically one of the components of beer if it makes it easier. Okay. Jackson's. Okay. okay. So right. we're going to give it a try. It's an award winning water. It's ozonated. Yep. Okay, so it's got a balanced pH. Oh, 8.1. Yeah, which is good. good for your body. It sure is. Uh, um, so yeah, it was a gold medal winner. So we're about to drink some gold medal water. Oh, okay. All right, let's do this. First time for everything, right? Mm. Wow, I feel great. Is that what's supposed to happen? I feel hydrated. Whoa. It tastes like nothing. I mean, that's better than... That is the best nothing I've ever tasted. It's like air water. Yeah! It's like... Yeah! It's like usually when you drink water, there's like a little hint of something. Sure. Maybe chlorine. Yeah. Maybe limestone. Well, well I don't know. I've, I've never... I mean, okay. Okay. Stuff I'll like take that. I'll your word for right? it. This, it tastes like nothing but that, delicious water. And that's what's supposed to happen. It tastes like... It tastes like a... It tastes like if, if I was doing an ice luge on a mountain. It's like, it's like, oh, it's like melted snow. That's pretty on brand. Let's do it. One more time. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Wow. Oh, that's good. That's really good. Mm -hmm. My gums feel hydrated. 
And here's the thing that here's one more the, time. Here's the gooch on this. Okay. If you drink that whole bottle and you won't even be buzzed. You can still drive. What? Yeah. There's no booze in it. It's is that it, good. Is it good for you? Yeah. Oh come on. Yeah. Where is it made? How can someone? Take oh, it's it's made from nature. Yeah, it's nature made. It's okay. from Canada. Oh wow. Yeah. Jackson Springs. Huh? Yeah. Even See, the Jackson. moose like it. Okay, well, the, the Canadian moose, mooses. If the meese dig it, I dig it. I dig it. Mm. Hey, buddy, it's Madman Matt. I just want to let everyone know, something you probably already know, YouTube, Spotify, Amazon Music, iTunes, Google Podcasts, Deezer, Stitcher, and TuneIn. Check us out. It's time for Tully Speaks, dude. Oh. And here's what I want to speak about. I don't know why I laugh. Because please. you're going to laugh later. You oh, might as well get it out now. <laughs> Um, what I want to speak about is something that, you know, we have, we have people listen to the show all over the world. Yeah. Huge following. International in, following. Huge following in England. They okay. love us there, man. All over the world though. Right. All over this country. Yeah. They love you, man. They love us. They love you, man. It's like peanut butter without the jelly. What? Can I be the jelly? This you time? can. All right, you cool. can. All right. Here's the thing though, that I want to make people aware of. It's almost like a PSA. Yeah. Because we always do the big beers. Right. Mm -hmm. I want everybody to know the prices of beer. I'm drinking Zima in Los Angeles. Do they even make Zima anymore? <laughs> no. I hope so. Damn. I used to chug like four Zimas. They were good. They were good to chug. Made you never made your stomach feel bad. Zima. But we're not That's... talking about Zima. No, we're talking about beer in L.A. Yeah. And it's absolutely out fucking rageous. It's astronomical. You can get, and I'm not exaggerating at all. I'm not exaggerating. When you come out here, make sure that you got a little side pocket full of whiskey. Because when you come out here, you can get a six pack, maybe a six pack for sure, mm -hmm. for the same price as a beer. That's true. I know. I'm talking, and if you go crafties for sure. No, that's like if you're like, true. I like craft beer. Yeah. One craft beer at a bar out here is as much as a six pack of craft beer from the grocery store. No fucking joke, dude. And you better pray you're not in a fucking baseball game, I say. Then you're done. Holy shit. You just lost your whole paycheck. You're getting watered down turd beer. Yeah. Oh, what's up, man? Yeah, I would love to have a with a, the fucking with the Dodger dog. That's right. Cool. With the I chili mean, dog. If your beer is more expensive than your hot dog, there's a problem. There is. And and now I understand. I understand, you know that maybe you don't want people to get too drunk at your venue yeah. so therefore you're charging a lot for beer whoa it's think, uh, but i i that's what i try to put together i try to make it okay in my head i have to justify it in some way. justify it exactly. because i feel so bad every time i go to a bar and i'm like this is ridiculous yeah all i want to do is get a buzz and watch a band and yeah. you're killing me you're killing me smalls like you have to get you have to get like an arrogant bastard or something because yeah. Because it's so expensive for beer, you got to get something that's super potent. That's right. Or ass pocket full of whiskey. See, this guy taught me something. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, if you want to save some money, you want to be economical in Los Angeles, California. Yeah. You got to do the side hat. What do you call it? The side hatch? The side ass pocket full of whiskey. Ass pocket side full hatch. Of whiskey. You got to have a little, a. a little bit. I yeah. don't care how you do it. Here's what I would recommend. Because you're going to get railed on Listen the beer up, prices. You're going to get railed. Listen up. But you still want to get a buzz and you're going to buy a beer. So just say, think of it like this. You're going to go to the bar, three beers, right? Yeah. So you're going to get ripped off. You know that. Mm -hmm. So, and I'm not, I don't want to bury the bars either. No, 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 no. I want them to have money so that they stay open and stay they play open. bands. Yeah. However, stop at your fucking liquor store. 99 oh. cents. Ding. Little bottle of whiskey. Welcome. Get like three of them. They're not going to check your pockets for that. Fuck no. You go to the bathroom. Yep, 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 yep. Ring. Fucking drink your beer. Done. Boom. That's how you do it. That's how you save money. Because there's no getting around it. Even their dive bars are ridiculously expensive. Oh, fuck yeah, dude. Okay. I'm not going to call them. I'm going to call it the, the bar. Okay? okay. But they have a good selection of beer. Right. But probably should go there pre-gamed. Correct. Always, always, always pregame here. Yeah, I'm just telling you how to get into the bar and have a little nip nips between your beers. That's right. But always pregame. When we worked at the Whiskey Go Go, six hours would be there, right? Yeah. From yeah, like it was nine, six hours. Yeah, yeah, nine to two and eight. Yeah, you got to yeah. think about this, man. Yeah. You, get, you need endurance. You Best do. Way to do it. Keep on drinking. Yes.
You and won't slow down till you're in the cab on the way home. Nip and tussle, dude. Yep. You Get nip. your little nip skis. You're going to be good to go with it. Get something you like. This man has taught us a lot of good things. It's just a way because I'm going to want to get drunk at the bar. I'm going to want to. You need to. But I can't possibly throw it. Coming from Michigan, I can't throw down that much money. Fuck no. We used to get buckets of beer at the bar in Michigan. A bucket. Say an actual again. metal bucket Excuse with me? ice. 12 pack for $12. 12 for 12. 12 dude. for 12. That's a dollar a beer. You no, it wasn't. It fucker. wasn't. It wasn't like crafty. Yeah. It was like Bud Light, Rolling Rock. Don't care though. You see, that's the thing though. If you're drinking the little nips, that's what you don't want to drink. Some little light, some yep. little uh, lagers. So just make sure pregame one, one pregame pregame before you go to the bar. That's right. Two, know you're going to spend a lot of money and you're probably going to have three beers. Three, bring a little bottle. Yeah. Just a little one. What do they call it again? Fucking side hatch. Side ass hatch. pocket full of whiskey. Can we do an acronym? Ass pocket. A-P-O-W. Yep. A-P-O-W. A-P-O-W. Yeah. Before that's, and yeah, you know cops. what? What's up? The cops. The cops. I'm just saying, give it a floor run. You'll have a better time. You still get to get your buzz on, enjoy your show or your time with your friends. Share it with your friends. That's right. Pretend it's a little game. Oh, I drank half of it. And here's the other half for here you. Go, here go. Everybody's buddies. Oh, drinking the honey go. whiskey. Delicious, by the way. I know. Honey I know. whiskey. We're not going to say the name. No. We're not going to give them too no, much. No, no, no. But it's no. good. It, once again, first time I tried that shit. So this is about a PSA here. And I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, if you follow these rules, you will have a good time in LA when you're visiting or when you live here. And that's the thing, man. I'm an IPA drink. I was that son of a bitch she's talking about. Yeah. Drinking arrogant bastards like an idiot. Guess what? Fucker brought out the side hatch. I had a better time spending less money. Had a better time because now you're kind of like. And you're still drunk. spending money at the bar. Yeah. So really, you're not really taking anything away. Exactly. And I'm not going to buy a $14 shot. You can kiss my ass in hell. It's not happening. It's not I'll spend happen. the money on your beers. I like a bottle of beer. That's right. Bottle. That's I don't right. even like it in the, I don't like the, I don't like that. You don't I like just, the draft. No, because it gives me a headache. I just like a bottle of beer. Yeah. And if months. I, and I always bring a koozie. That's right. I always yeah. bring a cozy. It makes, it's one, it's hilarious. Two, keeps your beer cold. Yeah, you got to keep that shit cold, man. You got to make them last. Yeah. Between nips. Especially if you're hanging out, listening to music all night. All night. I mean, you're going to get deaf if you drink too many of those IPAs. Absolutely. They, they drain your fucking ear for They will clog your brains. It's bad for you, bro. So follow these simple rules, and you will have a good time at the bars in L.A. Tully speaks. You speak and listen. Yeah, it's worth your time for this. <laughs> that man moment. Playvideoshow.com. It's a map. A map. A lot of things don't matter to me like that. Like people are so divide. Look, we're already so divided about so many things. Don't even get me started. But let's stop dividing on things like which way the toilet paper roll goes. It doesn't matter. If you're an over, you're an over. If you're an under, you probably have a cat and you don't want them to unravel the whole thing. So just give people who like the toilet paper rolled under a break. Plus when it's rolled over, sometimes you just pull it and pull it and then you go to yank it off. And the whole thing, it just more unravels and you have too much toilet paper and now you're wasting and it's a pain in the ass. So, leave us alone. I like it under. But if it's over, it also doesn't matter. I kind of just like pick it up out of the thing and I put it on the thing. I don't have time to sit there and go, oh, oh, it's over. Oh, oh, it's under. I don't care. Just put it on the roll and let's go. Have a different experience every time. Get over yourselves. Anyway, that's going to piss a lot of people off, I can tell already. I love it. I love it. You know what time it is? I do now. It's whiskey time. No, we're done with it. Oh, damn it. We're done with it. Oh, shit. Sexy Wild East. We got Finley and we got Neil. They're calling, they're calling in from way over. Across way the, over across the pond they do say across the pond i never understood yeah. it 
<laughs> it's not a fucking pond. It's not a pond. Good goddamn ocean. I like the way it sounds, though. It's very poetic. Banksy, <laughs> Banksy Moon was the track that we played on the show. Um, I love what you guys do. It's such Thanks. a great hybrid. Um, how did you first? Let's get to let's and let's also remember that we've been drinking whiskey. Let's just get that right the fuck out there right now. <laughs> So if this interview gets a little off course, it gets a little derailed, it gets a little squirrely. Blame it on the rye, man. <laughs> so how did you guys come to like pair up to to do uh, sexy wild east? You want to take um, that? Name? Yeah, I will. Yeah, I tell you what. Before we do, I feel so fucking sober here, man. Like I've, I felt like shit all day, and I, I've not had a drink, and you too much fucking hell. <laughs> so I'm gonna, I'll, I'll try and be as, um, as fun as possible. Yeah. So we met in. Just in speak Budapest. slowly for us, Neil. Just speak slowly. We'll be okay. <laughs> you can subtitle it. We met in uh, Budapest in Hungary, where I live. Um, Philly used to live. We used to work together in a shitty call center, and um. I've been in loads of bands before, lots of punk bands and stuff. And Finley's always made like electronic stuff, beats and stuff on his laptop in his bedroom. Um, and then we just we, we just got drinking, you know. And we're like, yeah, let's make some music, see how it goes, you know. Kind of, I wanted to carry on doing the sort of punk-ish vocals, political stuff, and whatever. But rather than have a band, just have a man with a, a laptop, you know, making all the stuff. Yeah, and then. Then, like, COVID hitting, so it was perfect, really, because, you know, it was a nightmare for proper bands, I suppose. You know, you couldn't rehearse anywhere, you couldn't play anywhere. So Finley was just making the tune, sending them across to me, um, and I started writing some lyrics, and then we went from there, Then we put a few records out. We played one gig. We've seen each other about four times in the last year, in the last two years or something. <laughs> uh, so it's, like, it's it's really kind of... Easy to do it, I suppose, to put records out, to make records, put records out without actually having to physically see each other. Seriously, you know I mean. yeah. I mean, COVID's made it really easy to communicate. I mean, we're yeah. doing Zoom right now. Like, this is just the yeah, way it is now. This is it. We put out an album, two, three singles. We got another single coming out next month. We got an album coming out in May. We've been like really productive because whereas before, when I was in like, guitar bands and stuff you know we meet up every week every fortnight or whatever write songs eventually get around to recording them you know with this it's like it's half recorded already as soon as finley finishes the track and it's like yeah we like that then the music's done and then i've got a mate here in budapest who's got a studio in his house so i do the vocals down there and it's it's a piece of piss really isn't it it's like, yeah <laughs> so yeah how you, how you dig in budapest that's kind of unique huh great man it's a lovely city yeah it's um yeah, I've been here about nearly five years now. It's uh it's superb. Yeah, cool place. Nice. It's a good drinking city. It's a good drinking city. You like yeah, it, that's you know? a good that's what I really wanted to know. Yeah, yeah. I was beating around it's the cheap. bush on that. Like, should I go Neil, should I go to Budapest and can I get a good drink? That's what I should have uh, said. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah if, right. if you're coming coming from where you, California. Yeah. Yeah, I mean it'll be cheap as shit for you over here. Like it's uh yeah. Are the beer prices it's, cheap? Are they get they got yeah, good deals? It's like, I guess it's about I don't know what it'd be in dollars, but maybe maximum like two euros for a beer. Oh, oh uh, yeah, it's cheap. Nice beer. Not yeah. out here, man. California, they charge you through the roof. You yeah. can go get a six much- pack of beer for the same price as one beer at a bar. Fuck. <laughs> That's why we pre-drink. Yeah. We always put like whiskey bottles in our pockets and shit. Yeah, Just, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> real classy stuff, you know. We're classing it up Stop over here in California. You've got you've got to, you've got to um, balance the books for these things, haven't you? No, it's it's really cheap. I mean, it's not as cheap when you live here because it sure. balances out with the salaries and shit. But when I moved here from England, it's incredibly cheap, you know, compared to <laughs> compared to England. So yeah, it's good. But yeah, this I mean, Finley will back me up on this. Is like got hundreds thousands of bars man it's it's a good good party say oh that's great yeah. stuff and you'll never want in budapest it's a bar there's there's a bar wherever you need yeah. one everywhere yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. so now no, Finley, you do like so your your spin is more of electronica that's what you came from i get i mean in terms of my 
like your influences, like your influences. Well, yeah, this is the thing. I, I've gone through all sorts of phases. I went through all the classic phases people go through, maybe boys go through growing up. I had my my rock phase, my metal phase, my rap phase, uh, my my dance music electronic phase, and then I kind of grew up and just took all the bits I liked from everything. So the stuff I listen to now is, yeah, it's just a mixture of, you know, whatever I feel at the time. Um, and I guess I do the same thing with, with making music. Like, I think I, in the past I've tried to make some heavier stuff, you know, like experimenting with um, really distorted guitar sounds, you know, still electronic, but that kind of, you know, that, um, that kind of instrument. And then, for instance, the stuff, a lot of the stuff we've got on this album is just really, really clean dance, you know, kick drum. Yeah. Little, like... I don't know, even know what I call them like bomb noises. You know what I mean? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like, like pad, you know what I mean? Just really clean and simple. So I've got a, yeah, it's a whole a whole mixture, I think. Um, and it depends what mood I'm in at the time. I go through phases of of making different styles of of stuff. Um, and a lot of the stuff, like I say, that we got on this album was from a period where I was just you know I'd start a track with just looping a, a, a kick drum at 120 BPM or something, and that was. Just every time I sat down to make a track, that's what I started with because that's what I wanted to make at the time. You know what I mean? Sure. Yeah. I um, but yeah, it's a whole a whole range of stuff, really. But you know, everything's electronic. I can't. I don't. I haven't got any like. Uh, I can't play any instruments or anything like that. So everything that that comes out is is done. You know, within the within the computer itself. Because you can than, hear that. You can hear that it's uh, that you guys <laughs> both were influenced by a ton of things. It's definitely in the music. Like you can hear it that there's a lot going on uh, in both your heads, and then the song is created. <laughs> like a lot of different, you know what I mean? Which is great for the listener because it keeps you guessing what they're going to do next. What's going to happen? What's the next track going to sound like? Are they going to stick with the same type of stuff? Is it going to be? That's fun. That's fun. It's like tasting whiskey. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I keep bringing it back to the whiskey. I don't know. <laughs> I was just happy to have it. It was very nice whiskey. <laughs> Um, it's true, is that you know? It's true, is that man? So it's like this album, like Finn says, it's 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 quite a poppy album, you know. Like the first one's pretty aggressive, pretty punk and like aggro, and this is it's it's a lot more fun, yeah. You know, but it's like yeah, some of the stuff Finn was saying, it's like yeah, this is beautiful. You know, there's some proper like piano house tunes on there that yeah wouldn't sound out of place in Manchester in 1990. You know, it's like absolutely, some, um, but some absolutely. Absolute, Absolute bangers. Finley's a fucking genius and he's no idea. He, he just kind of... <laughs> well, now he knows. He'll tell you he makes it up as he goes along, but he's a fucking genius. So like, some of this stuff, it's been really interesting to make this album and write it with, with like a sort of a... No preconceptions of what we're going to do. You know, it's just like, I like that tune. What should we do with that one? I like that one, you know? Now, this is um, the new... This album hasn't come out yet? The new one? No, it's coming out in May. Beginning okay. of May, I think. Okay. Because mm. we need it. We need to have it. Yeah, I'll we send must you a copy, have man. It. Yeah, you know? maybe we're we just, can play uh, it straight it's... through. I don't know. We'll see what we can do. Yeah, absolutely. that'd be fun. That'd be fun because it would be the whole flow of the thing. I love that. I love to hear how artists compose the track, be, the track um, list. It'd be a great show. You could just sit and drink whiskey and play it. You know, it's like you don't even need to discuss anything. I mean, yeah. I'm going to do no, that whether we, got, we do we'll... it on the show or not. So, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, we'll get a copy across here. It's all Either way, we can just do it. The four yeah, of us can just do it. Get some of that <laughs> yeah. Budapest whiskey. Oh, fuck no, man. Do you know what? The, the drink here is it's called Palinka, and it's like um, it's like fruit brandy. You know, and it's a shot, and it's like Hungarians are really proud of it. You know, it's is it like, super sweet? No, it's... Um, no, it is. I mean, it's, it's sweet after it's 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 burning. <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it can be. So there's, yeah. there's nice stuff and there's not so nice stuff, you know? And the best stuff is, like, not the stuff you buy in bars or shops. It's if you buy it from an old guy who's been making it for 50 years. And Absolutely. Made it before him, and, you know. Got the still in, in the basement. Yeah, yeah, and it's just in a kind of a clear, labelless wine bottle or something, you know? So the, yeah, That's, exactly. It's got, like, it's handwritten. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the good it, stuff. It's brutal. It's brutal. <laughs> It's like moonshine over here. 
It's yeah. absolutely like that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I have some of that too. I'm not getting into it though. I'm not getting no. into moonshine. I like the big, <laughs> in the big jug kind of thing as well. I got it in. A, I actually it's in a mason jar, like one of those jars, and it is so <laughs> strong. It is so strong. I stopped drinking it because I was just getting too blasted before I even went to the bar. I was like, I'm pissed. I'm fucking drunk already. I can't even be here. Like, I might as well have done. The night's over. I did one shot of it. It's over. It's like fucking absinthe. It's like poor. It's like hillbilly absinthe. What is it? Uh, what's the That's flavor? It. It's, uh, I don't know. I think shit. No, it's not that bad. It's, like, it's, 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 honestly, it's so strong that when you drink it, it just like the, the the vapors go through your nose. Like it's like it's like rubbing alcohol with yeah. and whiskey mix. It's grain alcohol. Yeah, it's like yeah. grain alcohol. It's so fucking rough. It's so I highly recommend. I recommend. No, no, Sounds don't beautiful. ever drink it. I always give it to people when they come over. Like if you guys came over, I'd be like, hey, you want some of this moonshine? Everybody smells it and they're like, no, nah, dude. I'm gonna pass on the shine. It's a little fucking mm. rough. I thought I'd be tough guy, you know. I'm gonna drink moonshine. Didn't work out. <laughs> I would have it out. Okay. Someone offered me moonshine. I'd have to give it a go. It sounds ruthless, but you you've got it, you know. Especially as a just one. Yeah. Just yeah, one shot. Can... Then you know. Then yeah. you know. Then you won't want to know anymore. But you got to do one. You're totally right, dude. You got to do one <laughs> for the sake of it all. So you fly back to England. And you're like, had some uh, American moonshine. Never again. <laughs> Never again. <laughs> No way. So I the album's coming out. Is... Oh, go for it. So no, go on. I was just going to say. So the album's coming out in May. Yeah. And uh, we're going to get it. Um, tell the people before we go, and we got to talk again. But before we go, tell the people where they can find all of your stuff so that they can purchase it, and uh, mm. and you guys can make money and keep making music forever. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We make so much money out of this. Well, the, the stuff, it's all, on, it's all on Spotify and iTunes and every streaming shit that we don't get any money from. Um, the, a record label, Quick Fix Recordings, on their band camp. Most of the stuff's on there, and it's on our band camp as well. So, sexy wildies, the sexy wildies dot bandcamp.com. The. Is it? Something like that. All right. Just Google the sexy wildies, you find yeah. it. Um, yeah. And then we got, yeah, we got a single coming out on the 12th of April called Space Dicks, which is fucking brilliant. And it's about those billionaire wankers going into space while the world in their dick ships. ships thank you yeah yeah exactly and then the album yeah it's called electro positivity it's going to be out i think it's the first of may round about then um and that will be yeah as say streaming everywhere there's no physical stuff it's all digital so you know spotify itunes apple music all that shit. you guys are you guys are <laughs> going to send us that single yeah we'll send it all across we've got um yeah, yeah, we can do that. Yeah, we'll get it I'll on quick. Album, we'll send you the album, yeah. Yeah, because I want to get it on so that way people can hear it before the album comes out, and then they can yeah, cool. get them both. Yeah, well, we, we can definitely send a single because I know that's all done and dusted. The album's all been sort of packaged and shit. Right? That's, but when that's ready, yeah. We'll right, send the right, right. Yeah, we'll probably send a single straight after this, yeah, definitely. I love it. You guys, thanks so much for Zoom. And oh, I said Zoom. Fuck, I hate that. I hate to give them any props without paying us. <laughs> thanks for calling in on the video thing. There you go. <laughs> Absolute pleasure, man. Thanks Neil for Finley, you, man. the sexy Wild East. Look them up. Check it out. It's great stuff. We'll talk to you guys soon. Later. Nice one. Cheers, fellas. Later, Take fellas. Care. See you later. Tully Dio Show. We're doing the uh, top FN 10 for episode uh, 318 on this beautiful March 25th. If you feel like voting on the top 10, which you should, because the bands that you like will move up and down yeah. the top 10 accordingly, check that out at uh, thetoydeoshow.com. What's this? That's a mouse. It's a mouse. What does it do? You can uh, move it around and uh, go to thetoydeoshow.com. Ex exactly. There you go. And you can use it to vote. Yeah. If you want to. You can use that. You can just do this too. On the thing. I don't know. Whatever yeah. you want to do. Whatever you need to do to get on the site, do it. And do it. And uh, just like every week, a song from last week's set list will now be premiering on the top 10. Bringing them in. So coming in at number 10 is our buddy from Venice Beach, Willow Speak, Part of Me No More. Number nine, Coastal Fire Department Gun. Number eight, Owls and Aliens with Tsunami. 
Number seven, pin finger with boot liquor. Number six, reality suite, kiss the ring. Number five, berserk, still moving up the charts. Mike check one, two. Number four, voodoo shakedown, play with fire. Number three, bad love tattoos. Number two, right after midnight, yours all night. And number one, again, I believe it's the third week. Now. What? Whoa. Psycho positive with gummy bear. People keep voting for it. They love it. They Three love gummy bears. They dude. love gummy bears. It's a dynasty now. They love psychedelic rock and roll What's and gummy that? bears. Dynasty and I don't blame City. them. Bear on their bear, bear. Bear. It's too sweet. For That's them, your bro. top 10 for the Tully deal show. And that is per use the end of the show. Good job. We will be back next week with more set list, more top 10, more everything. Uh, enjoy the show. Enjoy your weekend. Tully Dio. Mad man, Matt. Big beers and cheers, everybody. Drink them. Drink them. Drink them. Drink them up. We say them together. Drink them up. 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 Yeah. Mm-hmm. Enjoy your weekend. Little baby ah, bottles. Yeah, That's all you need. Bottles. Little baby bottles with you. Drink them up. Ass pocket full of whiskey. There you go. Acronym. Mm-hmm. Hey, pop. Hey, pop. It's me, Tully Dio. And I'd like to thank the people that make the Tully Dio show possible. First of all, me, Tully Dio. It's my show. Second of all, my partner in crime, Madman Matt. We got our executive producer, Amy Goldberg, and our associate producer, James Chabelle. The Tully Dio show. Two weeks? Yeah, it's been like fucking a week. We missed one week. This is that would have sucked though. I think we missed two weeks. Didn't we? No, we didn't. It's just been one week. It's been one week. I feel like it's like a long time like because we years. really like to fucking do the show. Yeah, that's what it is. It's the future. It's the future.
thoughts that occur Heaven knows that I have heard Then to differentiate the lies That lie within the truth Feel every moment drift away Like all the things you had to say I have nothing left to say There can't be some inside this melody Tell me how I should feel Who are you even anyway? Some voices out of my head You're not a part of me Trying to tell me how not to feel Who are you even anyway? Some voices out on my head Why are you trying to tell me love is in free? Why are you trying to tell me how not to feel?
Trying to fool, trying to look and be cool, but I see right through. You see these bloodshot eyes, cause you falsified all those lies. I will not kiss the ring. I will not. Fingers up. I don't need you telling me what's right. I've got my own two eyes. I will not kiss the ring. No pressure, so no. I'm so damn unamused Trying to look and be cool, but I see right through I don't need you telling me what's right I've got my own two eyes, I will not Kiss the ring, no pressure, so no entertaining friends I will not pretend Fingers up, kiss the ring You tear me up, you break me down Like a man
Sometimes I screw up every single thing I do Sometimes I tattoo words that make me think of you You told me you'd be there for everything, now I'm not sure What I'm gonna do with myself High on you till I exhale I see you holding hands with hands to be my friend Now I'm gonna be alone again I guess I'm an asshole now and then Sometimes I screw up every single thing I do Sometimes I tattoo words that make me think of you Sometimes I don't know what I'm doing but what's new Sometimes I tattoo words that make me think of you It just seems like everything I do I gotta apologize for But I'm not sorry If I do keep acting like a fool you won't do with me anymore I'm still not sorry Maybe I'm an asshole, maybe I'm a creep Every single thing I do Sometimes I tattoo words that make me think of you Sometimes I don't know what I'm doing but what's new Sometimes I tattoo words that make me think of you
Tell your mama, tell your papa who's the blues. The Gummy Bear.